All right, my next collection is Cartabella's Cowboy Country. And with this one, I did get the stamp set because I don't, I don't have anything like this. So boots, hats, and cowboy chaps. Howdy, cowboy. And being that I live in Texas, I don't know, I'm kind of um, smitten with this theme. So if you live anywhere in the Southwest, I think it's perfect. So I did pick up the stamp set for this. Um, I'll go ahead and do this one. I got the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And these are quite, it looks like maybe one or one of the images, this one would be too big for a card. But overall, I think the rest are totally fine and would fit a card. And of course, the stamp set coordinates perfectly with this. Then I picked up the ephemera. Here are the images. You get 33 die cut pieces. Love that. And here is the paper pack. We'll flip through really quick. It is Cowboy Country by Steve Stephen Duncan. And you get 24 double-sided sheets. Oh, and it tells you the pound. 65 pound cardstock, which I'm assuming is most of the pattern paper that comes in these packs. But this would be great for boys' birthday parties that want a cowboy theme. I mean, look at that pattern paper. I'm looking at this with you guys, so I'm really loving the way this looks. Oof. Just the whole theme. It's just different. It's not something that you can... It's not a floral pack or a birthday pack. It's really unique. Love the cowboy boots. I love in anything Southwest, Native American theme. I'm a sucker for that. I love it so much. And this looks a little distressed. Love the teepees. And then it repeats itself. So, loving this collection. Alright, and this one is Country Kitchen. And again, I picked up the stamp set because it's adorable and it has this wonderful retro feel to it. And I don't have anything like this um, that's retro. And I just love it. So you have Farm Fresh, Bless This Kitchen, Grocery List. And then you have a pig, a rooster, some floral, a cow, eggs, butterfly milk. And then this lady, which I love, right here. So I did get the stamp set for this one. Here is the 12 by 12 sheet. And again, I'm pretty sure the ladies might be a little big. But if you create one of those long cards like I talked about, I think it would work perfectly. But most of these other images will fit on a card, standard card. So I got that. Then again, I picked up the ephemera. Um, and this is Cartabella Country Kitchen by Steve Duncan. Did I say that already? Um, the same person that did the cowboy one. So you can see similarities in the color schemes and just the style. And there's what you get with the ephemera. And here is the paper pack. Again, 24 double-sided papers. And I think, just glancing at this, you'll see some similarities between the cowboy one. Just the coloring and the the way it looks oh my gosh I don't know who this designer is I'm gonna have to see if he does anything else I love love that they include who it was designed by because I mean if you're looking specifically for that designer look at that it is so stinking cute and the dog looking up at the cow Aww. I love this You get these little tab, uh, little panels you can cut apart. Love that. Planted with love, my garden. The Home Chef's Cookbook with Chef Judy. <laughs> Different ovens. Canning. 
It's great if you are making something and give it as a gift. You can attach a tag to it or a card or make a recipe cards or whatever. And then it starts over. So that is the Country Kitchen Collection. Here is a random stamp I got. I've been eyeing the Concord and Knight plaid stamp, but I actually saw this one from Cartabella, and it's a part of their Hello Fall collection, but so what? I mean, whatever. And it is the Buffalo plaid stamp. So I went ahead and got this. It was cheaper. It is smaller. It's not the real big Concord and Knight one. I think it's Concord and Knight. But I went ahead and got this one as an alternative because um, it was less expensive. And then the rest of this is 12 by 12 packs. They didn't have 6 by 6. And, um, and I got these packs and they have the stickers. And like I said, on some of these it's cheaper to do that. But for some reason I got the packs. So there may have been not been an option to do like a sticker choice or whatever. Or they didn't have... I don't, I don't know. I can't tell you what my logic is in doing things I do. But this one is called Space Academy. I thought it was so cute. Let's see if I can lift you up a little. Um, I did get the ephemera. Here is the images that go with it. And this one actually, it may come with one or two stamp sets. I did not... I was going to, but then I decided not to get the stamp sets. So Space Academy, that's what it's called. And here are the sheets. And these are nice, thick, and they're textured cardstock. So you get kit contains 12, 12 by 12 double-sided textured papers and a 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. And this is from Cardabella. I love these and you could fussy cut these out and then of course there is a just a regular pattern on the back like these are really big but great if you want to decorate a boy's room I think I mean some of these 12 by 12 papers are so pretty that you could just frame them and I've done that before in my in my other craft room from my previous location little spaceships and then solar system love these it reminds me of the Jetsons especially this character I don't know just very retro looking it's so cute then you get these little space guns and again it comes with like this will tell you what's on the back side but, you know, if you need a small strip, use that one. <laughs> use all you have. Really cool. That's adorable. And then you get more of the spaceships. And, you know, if you have to get a 12 by 12 pack, you just have to be extra creative to make it work for your cards. But like I said, the back side usually is perfect for your cards. That's adorable. Love the old looking robots. So that is, oh, here's the sticker sheet. And these stickers, there are a couple that are quite big, but again, like this one, using that long type card that will fit in a business envelope, I think would work perfect. I really need to do that sometime soon. So that is the Star Swell, what is it called? Space Explorer, Space Academy by Stephen Duncan. And again, he's the designer that did the Country Kitchen and then the Cowboy. So loving, loving his look. This is what did it all. This is what started it all. This is the only collection I went on scrapbook.com for. Um, and I obviously lost my mind. But this is the stamp set. I saw some projects on Facebook and I'm like, oh, gotta get that. But here's the stamp set. This is called, it's by Photoplay. 
Paprika by Becky Fleck. And so you get this really cool llama and there's some floral images. Dream big. Hello. Thanks so much. Oh, lots of love. And the lots and love have the double L like llama. And the paper is just beautiful. So this, you get 12 sheets of 12 by 12 double sided and one sheet of sticker. So I love this, this one. This one's definitely my favorite one. Those two prints. And then these adorable llamas. This paper is going to be hard to use. It's just so bright. Gorgeous. And with the peacocks, really pretty. The tea. Floral. Tassels and then beautiful feathers. And then here is the sticker sheet. And all these, uh, the scrapbook haul was from two orders that I've been holding on to. And then I have one more order and that will be it. This collection is called Good Vibes. It is my mind's eye. I'll show the paper pack in a second. But I got, these are Brad's. Um, I started working with Brad's when, um, from the Love From Lizzie, she includes them in her kit sometimes. And they're really cool. I didn't think I would like them, but I actually really do enjoy them. So 23 Brad's with pink foil accents. So these are really cool. Here's 28 puffy stickers. I think these are great for teenagers. Teenage girls making a card for them or if they're into crafting. I think this would be a lot of fun to make for their friends. Then I got, this is a 45, 45 stickers with pink foil accents. So this, really cool. I got the ephemera. And here are the, oops, I'm sorry. Here are the pieces. You get 55, and some of them have the gold accent. Then here is a pack of chipboard stickers, 55 pieces. So again, really cute, love me some chipboard stickers. So this is six by six, 24 sheets of double-sided cardstock paper with pink foil accents. And I um, I just love the print on these. So cute. Let me turn it sideways so you can see both. But then you have the ones with the foil accents. And of course they match the stickers and ephemera and all that. Just adorable. And of course, and if you're not into this, you have a generic pattern on the back that's can be useful. And then it starts over. So that is good collect uh, good vibes from my mind's eye. All right, this one is was just released. I don't know if it was I feel like sometimes scrapbook.com gets stuff later on it may be released elsewhere and then they finally get it so I don't know if this is one of the cases I don't think so I think this was just released but it is Echo Park Echo Parks Alice in Wonderland and I do not care about Disney I am not <laughs> a Disney fan um, I do like the older movies but I I don't have kids I'm not an adult that's into Disney I mean if you are awesome and hey we all like different things but Point is, I wouldn't have given this a second look, and I think they have like a Mickey Mouse themed set that just came out as well, and I had no desire to get that. But I picked up the Alice in Wonderland because it is gorgeous. It is so pretty. These are chipboard stickers, and I got two packs, two different ones. But just the coloring and the colors and design alone, I think, are just so pretty. 
So I did go ahead and pick this up. And just because you have your, you know, Alice in Wonderland, you certain Disney themes, doesn't mean you can do other things. You can't do other things with it. And here's the paper pack. I don't know if this came with ephemera or not. I didn't get it. But I just loved the paper pack. And then, of course, I got the chipboard stickers. I just think it is so pretty. The very bright, rich colors. And, you know, you could use these and they have nothing to do with um, Disney or Alice in Wonderland or anything like that. I mean, you could make a card just for somebody that loves tea. <laughs> but then you do have your themed ones and these are adorable. So this is 24 double-sided papers. We have keys, roses, and here's Alice again. That's cute. Again, teacups. Love the butterflies. Are we starting over? I think we are. So that is Echo Park's Alice in Wonderland. This is Amy Tangerine. Um, what is this called? Obsessed? Is that what it's called? Sunshine and Good Times, maybe? Um, of course, again, everything will be linked below. I'm linking you just to the collection, not individual products that I have, because that would take a million years. But if you just go to the collection, it'll all everything that comes in the collection will pop up, and then you can pick and choose if you wanted to take a peek or look. But I love this because of all the foil accents. So this is 24 sheets, six by six, and they're single sided. Keep it straight up so you can not have to look at it sideways. And these these papers are fine, but they do feel a little bit thinner than the Echo Park, or maybe because they just move easier in the paper pack I don't know but this has that foil I just think it's so pretty and you can even use this top piece as a, if you want to accent a sentiment or something love the rainbow love the butterflies Sorry if I'm going fast. I just kind of want to. I know this video is running long. I've already uh, split the two videos in half. Hoping to just get all this in two videos instead of going to three. And if you are watched all of part one and you're still with me for part two, thank you. <laughs> um, like I said, I think in part one I enjoy the really long videos especially hauls because I tend to craft well, since I don't have to really pay attention to like a card making process video I usually craft on the haul videos or I love Facebook lives because I just pop them in they're an hour long and and I just craft while I watch or I just have it in the background love the little birds so these are nice because they're 24 not 24 we have 24 sheets. It seems like a lot more, but whatever. Um, but they're different designs. And then with that, I got 33 die cut shapes. These are acetate and foil pieces. So there's your normal cardstock, and then you get a ton of acetate. 33 pieces, and there's the images. And then I picked up, this is eight pages with holographic foil. It's a 162 piece sticker book. I won't take the stickers out, but, well, maybe I will, it might be easier. Well, they're stapled. Well, let's see, we can flip through them real quick. I'm just gonna show you the back, but got this as well. Love the uh, sentiments. Love that peacock and the birds. So pretty. Oh, that's cute. Little bees. Butterflies, which match that paper. And they have the foil accents. 
Sorry for planners. We plan. And then, I guess that's it. It says sticker book. I thought it would come with a book, but maybe the, it being stapled as the book. So that is Amy Tangerine, and I'm assuming it is called Sunshine and Good Times, but of course it'll be linked below. This one is called Pink Paisley, well it's by Pink Paisley, called Turn the Page. This is 6x6, six six, 36 sheets. They're one-sided. Um, you get These come with gold foil. Really pretty papers in here. So you can see the gold foil. I just be yourself, don't apologize. Difficult trails often lead to beautiful destinations. So that's pretty. I feel like this this theme is kind of an encouragement type. Just kind of looking at some of the sentiments on the chipboard stickers that I'll show you in a moment. Again, foil. Foil things. It's a really pretty paper pack. Love the bird. Birds. Again, there's the foil. It, that was the first one, right? Then it starts over. No, it wasn't. But it does start over with this one. So that is the paper pack. I got the chipboard stickers. You get 47 pieces, and they're really pretty. All of them are great size to include on your card. Double-sided here. And then I got, I thought this was interesting. This is wood veneers. You get 30 pieces, and they're just painted wood pieces. Here's a picture of them. I thought that was interesting. And then I got the ephemera, and you get 40 pieces. And again, there is that. And this is Pink Paisley, which I've never heard of the brand, called Turn the Page. Okay, this one kind of has quite a bit of stuff. Let's do the paper pack first. This is Dear Lizzie, the brand, and the paper pack is called Stay Colorful. I thought this was really cute and fun for the summer. 36 sheets, 18 designs, and they're single sided as well. So I'm gonna just go quickly. If you ever, if I ever go too fast, and this is just for any video, there's a gear like down here, I think, a gear button where you can slow down videos. I know I've gotten, especially on my 10 cards, one kit, I've gotten a few com comments, especially my older ones, going too fast. So just so you know, you can slow a video down. I love these little mermaids with the, and the little cat mermaids. Oh my God. Um, that's pretty. Love the strawberries. Floral, little sprinkles, and again, starting over. So that's the paper pack, and then I picked up the ephemera. This is matte gold accents. You get 40 pieces. There they are. I love the mermaid, and then you get two little mermaid cats. The unicorn ice cream truck. Really cute. Then I got the layered stickers. So really sweet looking. Love all of them. Oops, so I'm too close to the camera. So you get seven of those. Then I picked up the, they're just, they're just normal stickers. So you get 68 pieces. 
I really like this collection. That's why I kind of picked up um, almost everything. Sorry about the writing on the packaging. Another, and that would fit on a card. And here are the chipboard stickers, which are kind of big. Um, most of them should be okay, but like I don't know about that one, but um, really big. But I like I like the style. I think it's fun. Okay, we're almost, yeah, that is the last collection. I have one more thing to show you, and it's just a paper pack. I just found this really interesting. It's from Sizzix. It's called My Happy Life. You get 24 designs, four of each. They're double-sided, and they're, what size is this, 12, 6 by 12? Yes, 6 by 12, and I just think it's so cool. So, I mean, you could just slice these in half and you get 6 by 6, but, um, I just think the patterns are so cool, and to be honest, I kind of like the the long the long size, the six by twelve. Let's flip through these. Let me get these little so, uh, birds, and polka dots. I love the cactus cacti. Excuse me, and then Day of the Dead stuff really cool. I just think this is so different. And you get diamonds or gems, whatever. And on the back it's smaller. And then some floral. And there's the back of that. This is pretty. It's just so bright. I don't know if the camera really picks up the vibrant color. And the hearts. <laughs> and the mermaid. And some more hearts. And you get some different hearts and then, oh, this is the same kind. Yeah. The sugar skulls. <laughs> the sun and the moon. And the stripes. And you get tacos feed my soul. That's cute. And some more skulls. And then they call this like Spanish tile. I don't know. This is very. And then the other side is this. So really cute. I just thought this was really interesting. Sizzix does have some other paper packs that are um, this size, but this one I really liked. So that is it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for sticking with me for this really long haul video. Um, if you caught two parts. Um, let me know what your favorite collection was because I've decided that this summer I would like to get to it sooner, but definitely in June, <laughs> which isn't that far away. In June, I'm going to start doing some things with these collections. Ten cards, one kit, or ten cards, one collection, five cards, one collection. Um, let me know what you would like to see. For sticking with me, um, if you watched both parts of my haul video, I have a giveaway and I wasn't going to mention it because I wanted to see who would stick around till the end. So this is just a random stamp set I have. Um, Simon says stamp sent me one for my birthday, but then they also sent me one for like my anniversary or something from ordering. I don't know, but I have two now. So I'm going to give this away for hanging out with me for these two videos. If you haven't watched part one, go watch part one before you enter the giveaway. <laughs> um, and this is what you have to do. This is a requirement. You have to tell me your favorite collection and hopefully you know of one and don't have to go back and search for it. You can just give me a description, whatever. But you also have to enter at the end of your comment enter a random number and I say that because nobody will know what that means so if somebody has not watched all the way through they don't get to enter the giveaway 
So, so tell me what your favorite collection is or what you, collection you would like to see first. And then at the end of your comment, just give me a random number. Does that make sense? I hope it does. So, and then you'll be entered in a giveaway and I will put down at the bottom here because I don't know when I'm going to post this video when the giveaway ends for this adorable little stamp set. So thanks guys for sticking with me. All links to products will be below. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.